when you talk of an orthographic projection or orthographic views, you are talking of views that you express an isometric drawing or a 3D object into. So, mainly three different views. So, for example, if we consider um, a box, um, <clears throat> if we consider a box like this one, the lunch box, the lunch box here. Yeah? Uh, so, this is a, an example of a 3D object, right? Because it has the front, the back, and then the side views, the top, and the bottom, right? So it's a 3D object. Now, this 3D object can be uh, um, drawn on a paper using three views. We can say the front will look like this. So those, those views, those three views that can, be represent, that can represent this box, are 2D views or two-dimensional views, right? Or two-dimensional shapes. You can say the front looks like this, and then the side will look like that, or and then the top will look like that. So, so for example, this one you can think of it as the front, the top, and the side views. So, using those three views, it is possible that you can come up with uh, an object like this one just by considering the dimensions and um, the views themselves. You can come up with an object like this one. Now, those views, when you consider the orthographic views, or we consider them in orthographic projection, those views are viewed from a point where the site is at right angle with the view that you are, you are viewing, or the side that you are viewing. So for example, if you want to get the orthographic front view of this object, you have to place it at a point where your site is at 90 degrees with the view itself. So. Uh, we can draw this isometric uh, box here. Okay. So a rough sketch of what this will look like. So now, if you say this is the front view, and then that is the side view or the end, and then the top view like that, right? So we have three views from um, this 3D object in an isometric object like that, or an isometric object like that. So now, when you consider the corners, let's name the corners. For example, we can have one, so we have those corners there. And then we are saying, this is the front view, this is the side view, that is the top view, right? So if you look at this object from a point where your side is at, um, 90 degrees, okay, with the face that you're looking at. So for example, here, you're looking at it from this point. So we're, we're trying to look at the front view from this point, right? If it's at 90 degrees, you'll find that you only see this part. It's not possible for you to see this part or that part there. I don't know if you get the, the concept behind. If it's at 90 degrees. So for example, if I was to put this, maybe if I was to put it like this, okay? If it is at 90 degrees to your side, it's not possible for you to see what is here. If I was to write something here, maybe I, I was to write a word here and then I put it like this. It's not possible for you to see what is this side. Neither is it possible for you to see what is here. Unless you change the view now, you take it in this um, orientation, that is when you'll be able to see what is here. But it's not possible for you to see what is here, right? So these views are the views that we are, we are saying, orthographic views. So ortho, orthographic has got uh, um, two words in it. This ortho means um, uh, 90 degrees or right angle, okay? Then graphic is just the, the graphic for drawing or any graphic, yeah. So when you say orthographic, you are meaning, you mean you have to look at it at uh, 90 degrees or right angle. Your sight should be at right angle with the face that you are viewing, like that. So that is the basis for our discussion. So now, I was saying this object is uh, what we have drawn, what we have drawn here, right? So here on this front, view, when you look at it from this point, you'll be able to see this box and it will just appear like this, right? 
depending on the length, but we'll use the corners. So the corners that you are able to see will be one, two, five, and six, like that. Okay? When you look at it from this side here, meaning, so this one is the front view, right? And then for the side view, you'll be able to see again another box like this. So you're going to have two, three, four, and five. So this is the side view or the end view. Like that. When you look at it from the top again, like that, you'll be able to see something like this. Is it? You're going to see something like that. Then you're going to have six, five, seven, and four, like that, which is the top view. All right. So these are orthographic views for that object there. So it doesn't matter the distance that is uh, between this point and that point, you will not be able to see what is it as long as you look at it from here. You will only know the distance that is between these two when you look at it from this side. Or maybe when you look at it from uh, that side there. Now, when we consider these drawings that are here, right? These three views that are here. You're going to notice that we have um, common lines or common edges on each, um, <clears throat> on each of these views. For example, on the front view here, you find that it will have a common length, or maybe we say the front view will, will, will consist of the length and the height. Let me see. From this, we're saying if this is the length, this is the height, this is the width or the radius, right? There, right? Yes. So the front view consists of the length and the height, okay? The, the top view will consist of the length and the width or the radius, right? So on the top view there, we have length and radius like that. This one, the side view or the end view, will consist of the breadth and the height. Yes, breadth and the height there. Like that. So when you look at this edge, line um, 2, 5, okay? Line 2, 5. It is both on the front view as well as the side view. So here, when you look at the front view, you are going to find two, five, right? Okay? The side view, two, five. When you look at um, this edge that is here, listen, five, six, you find it here, okay? And at the same time, you are going to find it there. So the front view will consist of the length and the height, and then the plan or the, the top view will consist of the length and the breadth. The end will get its height from the front view, okay, and its uh, breadth from the plan or from the top view there. So edge. But what we are talking about here is that. Um, from the from the front and the plan, it is possible for you to come up with the end, even, even if you haven't seen it on the drawing there. Okay, it is possible for you to come up with the end because you know that the end consists of this and that. Okay, we'll, we'll get to how we come up with the end, but what I want us to understand here is uh, how we get the views and the relationship that there is between the the views or among them, eh? yes, that is what I want us to understand.